Hello everyone, Phil here and today we have a question from Molly Master. She asks, I have a question here and I hope you can answer as soon as possible. When I do look at skill questions, I would have like 1 equals strongly agree, 2 equals agree, 3 equals undecided, 4 equals disagree, 5 equals strongly disagree. I had 20 participants and after they had done the survey, there was no one choose 5 so it means this one had never appeared in the data view. But what I want to show in the output, although all percentage will be zero, how can I do that? Okay, well that's quite easy to do and I think I know what you mean. So let's say I've set up a, an example here, set up a variable just called var1 and I've coded it. I've coded it, let's go to the data view, variable view, sorry. I've coded it so it's one equals yes, two equals no, three equals neither. Okay, it doesn't matter this is whether it's the same as same scale as yours. Is an example. So say I have four participants because there's four rows, each each row represents a participant, and uh, we've got them coded one and two. So no one responds as code three. In other words, no one responded as neither. So we'll know that neither there's zero percent that has chosen neither. Okay, so let's see what happens when I try to do the frequency table. We go analyze, descriptive stats, frequencies, transform, transfer the variable, sorry, into the variable box, and then we'll go display frequency tables and press OK. Okay, and this is what Molly means. When we do that, you see in the frequency table you have yes, two people said yes two people said no but neither doesn't appear on here and Molly wants to have neither appearing in this table well there's two things up here um, that come to mind one is that you could create your own table in like Excel and put insert that variable neither the answer sorry neither or you could do it here and I'm going to show you how so how you do it is you click double click on this box here so it highlights. Can you see that you got insert appears? So I click off. You can see watch up here. It trans it changes. So when I double click on this table, it goes to in. You see the uh, toolbar's changed. I go insert. Oh, I've got got to get right the place. So we want to add something here. We want to add a new row here. That's the idea. So let's click around here somewhere. Now I've got insert and you can see row. So I can um, insert a new row before or after. Say we want to insert the row below no. So I, I highlight to no. I go insert row and I want after. Can you see now two crosses appear? That's where I can kind of edit. So I click on here and I type neither. Now I click on here and obviously the frequency is zero because nobody chose that uh, response. Zero. And this is what and then percent is obviously zero as she said in her message valid percent zero everything is oh cumulative percent that will still be a hundred okay so simple as that and then you can export this to word or web document you're using to edit and that's today's quick Q&A hope that helps see you later